This video is brought to you by Simply Safe. More about them later in the video. Time to finish this bad boy. If you guys are new, or in case you have forgotten, this is my, I think it's a 91. I don't actually remember what yet. I'm pretty sure it's a 1991 Mitsubishi Delica L300 Star Wagon. And before we got this amazing shop, I was working on converting it into a camper. We're gonna have a full-size bed in there, storage underneath, 12 volt electrical system, 120 volt electrical system, and then a full kitchen back here with running water, stove, all sorts of amenities. I had almost finished it, and then we got the shop and well, the shop was more important. But now that we have some time waiting for the Eclipse motor to be finished from the machine shop, we're gonna finish the we're gonna finish the Delica. We got all the electrical system done, we got all of the framing done for all the interior. Only thing that needs to be finished is the finishing. So what that includes is flooring, walls, countertops, sink, lights, you know, shelves, all of the basic but kind of tedious, but more progressing stuff. So that's what we're gonna do. In this video, we're gonna focus on doing the flooring, doing the walls. Now off camera, we actually did do two things. Number one, I got the diesel heater in there working. Last time I tried to make it work, I'd put too big of a fuel pump on it, flooded it with diesel, and almost burnt the entire van down. Put the stock pump back on, actually primed the pump. Hey! And then the diesel heater worked perfectly. It did still smoke quite a bit, but I think that's just because there's a lot of built up diesel in the thing from the last failure. We built a new exhaust for it and it's, it's much better. Then the other thing we did is run all the lines for the water system. So the feed line to the tank is hooked up. The water pump is mounted underneath the van. When you flip the switch, it pumps water. With those two things out of the way, let's get started on the flooring. And with that, the flooring was done and it was time to move on to the walls.
going carefully. <laughs> Oh, it's upside down, bruh. To be honest, I am tired of editing me cutting planks, putting planks in, plank, 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 plank. The only thing that's keeping me going is this chill music. But uh, let's just go ahead and skip the next part. First, let me take a moment to thank this new sponsor, Simply Safe. Simply Safe is simply the best security system that experts trust to keep you safe. Now, why is Simply Safe so awesome? Well, there's a couple of reasons. For one, is its simplicity. You go onto their website and you can build a security system for your house or for your business that fits your needs. They've got a whole bunch of different sensors that you can choose from: you know, door entry sensors, smart locks that are wirelessly controlled through the app on your phone, HD interior cameras which will catch everything including that sneaky burglar snooping around in your shop at night aka me <laughs> hd exterior security cameras they've got high-tech stuff like motion detectors water sensors and then more basic stuff like smoke detectors and carbon monoxide detectors now once you build your system simplisafe will ship it directly to your door and it's super simple to set up you don't have to hire a technician you don't need any fancy tools it's all wireless and you can put it up 
and you can set it up with basic hand tools. The other awesome things about CinemaSafe, it's a super powerful security system. As I've said, they've got a bunch of awesome sensors. My favorite things are the security cameras paired with their awesome mobile app. Their mobile app allows you to view live feeds of any of your cameras at any time from any location. You can talk through the cameras, which is crazy. Say, you know, if the UPS driver's at your house and he's about to not leave your package there because that's what always happens when you need a package, they don't leave it there. You could talk through the camera and ask them to leave it there. You know, they might still probably won't leave it there, but you could try. <laughs> so if you guys are interested, you can save 20% on your Simply Safe security system when you sign up for an interactive monitoring plan and get your first month for free. Visit simplysafe.com forward slash gingium to learn more. I'll have a link in the description and up there in the cards. Thank you again to Simply Safe for sponsoring this video and making this Dalka build possible. Four sections of wood. Which will win? This is natural. Ooh. Which is pretty much clear. Provincial. Very dark. Yes, but it doesn't. This wood is not very absorbent. Special walnut. Aged walnut. That one's not bad. I think one more step darker. Those four were duds. Didn't, like, didn't really like any of them, so we're gonna try one more that we got. Just um, commented on my Hey, yo. Like Not gonna lie. A little gray. So that's why I'm saying we get the darkest brown one, and it would look kind of like this. Do like a warmer dark brown? More red or less red? More red? Oh. But not really red is not necessarily what I'm saying. Like, I mean, yes, red or browns are warm. Are warmer or cooler? They are warmer, but that's not what I'm saying. I think, I think espresso. Third time's charm. Three more. Espresso. Hmm, my favorite. Oh man, that's pretty much like a dark gray. Okay. Dark walnut. Jacobine. Hey, you. This wood is just too bright. <laughs> After making samples of all the stains, I posted a picture on Patreon to see what everyone there thought, and we all decided that black, black was the coolest. <laughs> now, unfortunately, the back plywood panel absorbed the stain totally different than the wood planks, and pretty much just turned out looking like we painted it black. But I had hope that the rest of the walls would look awesome. So I think the black turned out freaking awesome, but we're not doing the entire thing black because we thought it would be a little bit too dark that way. So we're doing the back, like the half wall. Uh, Provincial. Pre pre prevent, pre we're doing it this color. All right, 
so the, the half wall is done. The stain was definitely a little bit darker than uh, I expected, but I mean, it looks fine. Just trying to match colors of stains and different pieces of wood is not, not fun. Either way, if it's not perfect, it's gonna look good. So now we're gonna go ahead and do that top shelf and stain that. Didn't exactly think through how we were going to attach this shelf to the wall. We should have attached it from the bottom before doing the wall, but the wall's there already, so we're gonna try to make it work. Oh no, that's gonna just do that. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Damn it. Yeah. Cameraman Kurt came up with a better idea. Duh. Got a right angle drill. Thing, kind of. Ish. Enough. I wish I'd have thought of that earlier, but... Yeah, same. <laughs> Pretty much it for this video, guys. A vast majority of the finishing work has been done. Floors are all in, obviously. All the wood paneling done, staining, polyurethaning, lights and stuff are all working. It looks pretty awesome. It looks dark on camera, but that's just because the camera sucks at low light. We come back here, and our kitchen area is starting to come along as well. In the next video, Delga is going to be 100% finished. And what that includes is really big butcher block for the counter, lots of drawers for the pull-out kitchen area that's gonna come and extend and do an awesome little thing. And then a sink and a faucet and a whole bunch of other little details. I'm ready for this thing to be finished, ready to enjoy. And so in the next video, no matter how long it takes, it's gonna be done. Hopefully you guys did enjoy coming back to this project. I know a lot of you guys thought we were just going to abandon it. As a reminder, if you guys are wondering about the Minogen Eclipse and that giveaway, the new motor for that is currently at the machine shop. Once we get it back, 
assembling it, putting in, and then we're going to announce the winner. Anyway, see you in the next one where we finish this bad boy. If you want to watch it early, you can click up there. Otherwise, I'll see you guys hopefully in a few days. Thank you again for watching this video, and uh, yeah, have have a great have a great day or week or yeah week month. Have a great life. Mm, take on the screen.